My name is Gregory Rocco, and I'm one of the co-founders of Spruce. Spruce is an open source software company whose mission is to let users control their identity and data across the web. We believe the world today is moving away from the centralized model of authentication where users log into platforms and may or may not be granted access based on a number of factors to a decentralized one where platforms have to log into a user's data vault and users retain control the entire time. We believe it also starts with open authentication methods based on public key cryptography, such as signing with Ethereum. And today I'm gonna to show you how to integrate signing with Ethereum to your Auth0 tenant. To integrate signing with Ethereum, you're gonna start at the Auth0 marketplace. In the marketplace, you could search for Ethereum and signing with Ethereum should show up as a social connection. Once you hit add integration, and review what sign with Ethereum will need access to, the next step is obtaining a client ID and a secret, which can be done with a curl command. Now, you have to open up your terminal and insert the following curl command, which can also be found on the Auth0 blog detailing how you could integrate sign with Ethereum to your tenant. Note, you're gonna have to replace the redirect URIs with your own. After you insert this curl command and run it, you will be presented with a client ID, which you should copy into the client ID section of the setup, and a client secret, which should also be copied into the section. Finally, you could decide whether or not you'd like to sync user profile attributes at each login, which includes a user's ENS information. After that, hit create. And finally, you could add this Siwi connection to any of your applications in Auth0. To demonstrate this integration, I have a sample application here called My NFT Gallery. And if I hit login, first I'll be redirected to sign with Ethereum. And then on this page, I could sign with Ethereum using one of my many wallets. And in this case, I'm using MetaMask. After signing in using this prompt, I'm now logged into this application that I signed in with Ethereum to. And that's all there is to it. We see the Auth0 marketplace as an easy way to get started adding different authentication methods for your users, and the sign with Ethereum marketplace integration as an easy way to get started with native Web3 users. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.